we're on. We're on. Okay, I'll behave now. <laughs> um, I can't make that promise. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Chris, basically, I think the ball's in your court, as far as I can see. Yeah. Uh, um, so, I think, uh, I mean, some of this, Jim, we, we did touch on earlier, uh, not entirely, but in, in this specific case. But um, one of the concerns was that it, in the course outline, I mean, we've, we've established the fact that there were alternative versions of this question on Moodle, and, and so that's fine. I've got the course outline question now, which is what's important. Um, so what, my primary concern was that it uses the word actual, an actual classroom, and that I'm in a position where I'm not in a model, and I'm not, you know, I literally started last term, um, you know, I've been generously admitted by Alpha Crucius halfway through, which is, which is good of them, but as a result of that, I don't have any access to classrooms, um, not to real ones. Um, I'm, I'm doing something which I discussed with Jim about rectifying that, um, yeah. which I, um, you know, I've done off my own back. But um, so, yeah, sorry, go on, Jim. So let me speak to that for a minute. I'm just navigating my screen to share. Um, so for the sake of the video, uh, assignment, we're talking. Uh, so units of work due week, week eight. So, uh, yeah, we don't use weeks, but the date, 13th September. Yes. Yeah. So I've gone, oops, oops, CRS 403, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get there. I'm in CRS 403. I'm going to the question, and I'll share the screen. Although, uh, interestingly, you've said we don't use week numbers, but in the... In the outline it says week numbers <laughs> yeah i can talk to that in a minute okay <laughs> i'm trying to find the question it's in so, the subject outline jim it's subject only outline. There, is it? to assessment on page six yeah 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 i'm going to the subject outline now here we go bang bang mm -hmm. click click uh into subject outline page six page six number two Here we go. Oh, fantastic. And so I'll start sharing. And bang, and bang, and there we go. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's very interesting you raise that question, Chris. Actual classroom. Um, this takes me back, actually, a very long way. It takes me right back to 2011 when I started with these subjects. And the situation was that these original questions were, and this isn't an original, but these original questions were written with the very clear expectation, and there were no students in existence at all, that all students doing this course would be actually in a classroom. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's absolutely fascinating. And all these years since, we have modified, adjusted, found ways around, and it's always been in the court of the lecturer. Um, if they wished to, or if they felt the need to, they can talk to the program director, but sometimes on a case like this, yeah, it would arguably be in the court of the lecturer to make whatever arrangements. So the student says, I'm not in the school, blah, 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 what do we do? Um, and the lecturer comes up with a workaround. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly oh. what I would have done. That's what I've done in the past. Wednesday. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure that's the case. I mean, Jim and I spoke earlier on about, it's just a, you know, a culture I've got to learn because yeah. I'm just more used to, here's the question, there's the reading list, produce an essay. So, um, I, Yeah, but, but Chris, I, yeah. as I said this morning, look how long that question is. Yeah, it's insane. There's no <laughs> drop points, there's no numbers. <laughs> it's absolutely... As an English question, it's, excuse me, Deb, but it's atrocious mm -hmm. in the oh, way it's presented, isn't it? Yes. yes. It's just <laughs> absolutely atrocious. It's fairly impenetrable. Yeah, you've got to really take it apart bit by bit yeah. by bit by bit. And that's not generally how you'd attack in a question, because then you've got to sit down and try and put it back together again to make sense of what you've got to produce. Well, that's right. You know, what, what's it actually going to look like? Yeah. The thing that I submit. 
Yeah, what's the outcome? What am I going to give back? That's what yeah. you want to know. Yeah. I mean, actually, as I look at this now with you, mm. um, what I've been saying all along in this uh, discussion is that these are sacred texts, as it were, and cannot be changed um, except by higher edicts. Uh, that, I would argue, is not the case in this case. And if um, Deborah wanted to uh, put some paragraphs in here um, and tidy up the inverted commas English, mm -hmm. I as program director, I think I'd be happy for that to happen. So Deb, to happen. are you up for that? Yeah, look, it needs to happen across the board, actually. Um, I had a guy, I have a student in 513, and there's a, an expression in 513 in one of the assignments that says, it has to say, look for this. Well, I've never even heard of it. Now, I've been teaching for 35 years in Australia, and I'm now doing a PhD. I have never heard of this expression. So I just said to him, ignore that and choose a concept you have heard of. Mm. So because it just, I just don't know who wrote it and where it came from and where, and I've searched, like, like if someone says they can't find something, I will search high and low for it. Mm. Look at everything I know, everywhere I know, every person I know, I often network all over the place, they wouldn't know what this is. <laughs> so I just said to him, look, don't worry about it. Just choose another concept that you know that works for you. And that's what we'll work with. It's this odd sort of concept that I don't know. Really. So, yeah, I'm happy to do it, Jim. I'm happy to sort of make them workable because at the moment, I, I have said this for a while to Jim and Stephen that I'm concerned because as an English teacher that they are clear, um, and I, I get lots of queries, lots of questions, lots of, and I've all the time got to make sure I keep giving back the right answer, the same answer, mm. um, which I've worked hard to do. Um, so yeah, I do worry about them so that we just make it like my biggest concern is we're not acting like the way we want you to act in the classroom. <laughs> we're, we're not doing that for you. Now that then when I want to say to you, it's just like in the classroom. Well, this is just not like in the classroom. Yeah. You know, you've got to give feedback, you've got to be explicit, it's got to be clear, it's got to be all those things that good writing should be. Well, I just think, you know, if, I, if I'm a teacher in a classroom and I give um, the class um, en masse mm. uh, a task to do, mm. which they can't, mm. which, they don't, which they don't know what it means, mm. <laughs> how on earth can I expect them to do it? it you That's know, it, yeah. or to achieve anything. Yeah, um, and that's that's always what. And I understand what Jim's saying. This has been written years ago. Yeah, and got to come up through reviews, through a system, through Nessa, and all that sort Absolutely. of thing. Absolutely, I, I understand that process. I, that's what you know. I, I said earlier on with Jim, I'm, I'm not looking for perfection. Goodness no, no, me, no. I certainly can't write perfection. So no. I don't want that. But um, no. you know, it's uh, yeah, it's just no. about. And I understand yeah. the tension. And ITE is you know set by people outside of how yeah, the and um, I understand that too. Like I'm, I'm at uni I, and I get that myself, you know, I want to say sometimes, hello, there's a person at the end of all this and it's me. <laughs> but yeah. Tell me what you want. <laughs> so as I understand it now, because I have broken it down, obviously. I mean, I'm, yeah. you know. Um, you, got my, you got the thing that I wrote. Yes, I did. Yeah. So uh, what I need to do is produce a lesson plan for five lessons. Yeah. And, and so, so when I submit, you'll want yep. the lesson plan, yep. um, which includes accounting for four traits of diversity. Including gifted and talented as the fifth one. Absolutely. Ah, yes. Yep. Okay. So it is five, but it's the end. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. Um, and so basically one piece of work is the lesson plan itself. Mm -hmm. And the other piece of work is the rationale for the lesson plan. Yeah. The rationale, it's really, there's two pieces of work. There's a unit of work, what you're doing. A yeah. unit of work is generally in schools between five and six lessons, usually yeah. five. We would have done them five. If we weren't doing them five and it was a 10 week term, they would be 10. Like that was a really big, when we were doing our, um, you always had one unit that was 10 units long and 10 weeks long. And okay. so that would be your first unit that was common to year 11 and 12 and everybody had to do it. But that was most unusual. Five weeks are generally 
common for a unit of work. So I'll be looking for a unit of work from you which has a rationale. Yeah. So the unit of work overall would have the rationale. Independent lessons, I'd be looking for what you're hoping to achieve in those lessons. What learning outcomes are you looking for in this lesson? And a sequential building. So I'll yeah. be going through and saying, look, you started with this, that's great, yep, and that links directly to the outcomes, that's great, that's terrific. His rationale says this is what he's going to do, this is the end point, this is where I'm headed. Um, and then I would work myself through each lesson plan and check that you've actually done that. And I can follow that sequence. I can look yep. because you should be scaffolding too for your students. Jim, okay. sorry, don't put your hand No, up. no. Um, please, Al, I must. Oh, please, miss, please, miss. Um, Deb, uh, this is a very interesting discussion, and I don't think we've had it, um, and that, that's fine. But uh, just let me run for three minutes on this and then come mm -hmm. back to me. Um, my understanding of a unit of work may be different from someone else and may be different from a textbook or mm -hmm. a paper. It's really been a, a, a challenge to me in my career that different educators, brilliant educators, have totally different perspectives on what a unit of work is. And you as a student, Chris, you really need to drill with your lecturer, have I Am I viewing what a unit of work is the same as you, Miss? Yeah. Because I don't want to go with a preposition, preposition of what one is if I'm actually going to go off tangent with the lecturer. Mm. So if I was in your shoes, I'd really drill down what is a unit of work, what is a lesson plan, what's the relationship between the two. And for me, a unit of work doesn't actually specify lesson one, two, three, four, five, but it has massive rationale it has clear outcomes it has who and it has strategies that we're going to use we're going to have resources we're going to use we're going to have assessment rationale we're going to use and and we're going to have a, a, a reflection afterwards to me that's a unit of work now um deb can drive a truck through that probably but um what do you think about that rough definition of a unit of work? I know a problem with the holistic, but when, when students are just beginning a unit of work, to expect a huge holistic ability from them to be able to put this whole package together, I think that they need to start from a place where they can go, right, if I have to do five lessons, and I have to put diversity into each of those lessons. And then I have to say at the end, this is my pedagogy about diversity. It must be inclusive, but this is where I had this and this is where. I think it gives them a structure that's yeah. like form I'm after rather than. So, the whole. But can, you, Chris may be able to do the holistic thing. <laughs> I always work with I hope so. I've got a theology and philosophy degree. But um, uh, the. Um, I, what I want to try and do is make it a bit more concrete because uh, I'm getting that I'm getting those philosophies. Um, uh, but it, so, and this is literally off the top of my head. This is not what I'm planning to do. Okay. Yeah. Um, if I was going to teach Macbeth. Yes. Okay. So let, let's make it an English thing. Yes. So we're going to look at Macbeth yep. for, for a five week unit. Is that right? right correct. Okay, and so you know, I and and at the end of it, I want them to understand themes of, I don't know, um, supernatural, of uh, greed and ambition, and of yep. guilt. Yep. Okay, there are some pretty, you know, um, pretty basic things to understand from having read Macbeth. So the overarching, uh, so the the just looking at the two things I've got to submit, a full planning document. And lesson plan focused on teaching a unit. Yeah. So you would yeah. want to see within the, the full planning document what what the outcomes I'm seeking to achieve. Yeah. How those outcomes uh, can be assessed and what have you, and how the delivery of that core, the pedagogy and everything else, can account for five areas of diversity, including gifted, gifted and talented. Yeah. That's yeah. what you want in the in the planning document. And then in the lesson plan, which will that be five lesson plans or one lesson plan? Well, it's 
<laughs> See, I read this a little bit differently than Jim. It's not yeah. actually five weeks because if I was at school, I would have three lessons of English, 90 minutes one week, and three lessons of English, 90 minutes the next week. Like, like it might, it just might package in, mightn't be over five weeks. It depends sure. on. Yeah, this yeah. wouldn't happen with seven to 10, of course. And yeah. the first thing you've got to do is check that Macbeth is a seven to 10 text as of well. Course. I, I just think it was not my hands easy. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. I directed you to the NESA. I, yeah. I always follow the people who register and organise us. NESA's the people who say, this is right, this is wrong, do it this way, don't do it this way. So I always direct all my, star, all my students to NESA. And I say, here's an example of how NESA would write a unit work. Yeah. I, oh, that's the way I go. I, I think that for my own sake and for the sake of anyone I'm trying to help, if they've got a NESA program in front of them. And at my school, what did we do? We always did NESA. You right. know, we, we did scope and sequences for the whole year and we scope and sequenced all the outcomes. And, and I mean, all of the outcomes, not just the main ones, but we went through every little bit there was in everything. And we had a huge scope and sequence for the year. And then we had a scope and sequence that we pulled out for a unit that you may have had to write. Yeah. As, as the teacher, like I'm writing this unit for the other three teachers in this cohort. Mm -hmm. And we would then, I would then write the unit, but the flexibility became when they wanted to add stuff in it. and they'd come back and say, Hey, look, I've just found this great thing. Let's put it in. Like, yeah. you know, I'm not the be all and end all of writing lessons, but I kind of write each part. I would say, well, how many lessons have we got? Six. Okay. Well, I'm going to write six plans of how we're going to manage through this thing. And so it was a timing thing. It was all about how much time I had, but it doesn't obviate the overall because you, it depends on how you want to do it. You can put the resources in, you can have a huge planning document, or you can actually write a, a lesson overview, which I would call rather than a lesson plan. So I do lesson overviews and I'd say, we'd get this much done. And then I would register it as I was going. I would write all over it. It was always a document that was scrawled all over. And then at the end, when it was my turn to... Yeah, Jim's back. Um, can you use that word registering? Yes. I'm not sure everybody would no. know that language. No, I'm going... I was, yeah, I know that. Sorry, okay. sorry, Jim, I do, do realise that. Um, I would be scrolling all over that document saying when I had done each of those bits of work. Now, you don't need to do that for this because you're not no. teaching it. No. You're just writing it. Yes. Okay. But... That document becomes such a valuable thing when I, as the composer of that document, collect them back from all everybody else and I add in things that other people have. Mm. So that's the process when you're actually in a school and you're working. Yeah, yeah, that. no, that's good to know. Yeah, and yeah. it works that way. But all you're doing is producing an, I call it creative writing, Chris. <laughs> that's what you're doing. <laughs> in many ways, you're creative writing because you don't know what will work in a classroom. You really don't know you know, how it'll work, how it'll go. I mean, you may do something with a student and the student has a, a meltdown in your class and the whole class falls in half and then you don't, you've got to get someone in from outside. And, you know, they're the realities of what happens in a classroom. You just you can do all the best planning in the world and it just falls in a heap. Or you can do as ha has happened to me many times. Oh, listen, guys, it's great. I'm going to explain this to you. Da, 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 go through all this. And, they, and one student put it up and say, I have no idea what you're talking about, Walsey. Mm. Okay. Let me think of another way of explaining that. And, and because as I got further advanced in it, I could do it quicker and, yeah, and so, yeah. okay, let me think of another way. And we'd go through a whole thing. Is that better? Oh, it's getting there. Okay. So we just, we keep manipulating it. Now you can't do that because you're just trying to say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do yeah, this, yeah. I'm going to do this, I'm going to present this and this. It's just so, a pure form kind of way. Yeah, of doing it, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, for your own benefit in learning about, uh, by all means, do the holistic thing. I've got no issue with that whatsoever. But in these lessons, make sure that you say, um, this is what I'm doing. And I used Erlen's there, which is just an example I didn't think any of the rest of you would use, where I could give you an exemplar of how I would include information about it when I was writing about it. Because how, and you can't even do the end of it. The end of it says, you know, it says reflect on how all this went. Well, yeah. It didn't go because I didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but I can establish some sort of ben benchmarks about this is what I should have done. This is how it should have worked. This is what I might have failed to do the Erlen's paper one day and the kid got upset and then I was in a real pickle. I mean, all sorts of things can happen. Um, so you're just making that 
sort of like, it's why I call it creative writing a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you're going through and you're trying to work out, well, what am I going to do? A, a kid with um, dyslexia actually leaves my classroom for lessons. That's not what I want. No. Uh, I want you to try and think about, okay, they're only mildly dyslexic. Hmm. What adjustment can I include that would work with that student in the classroom? You know, how would I manage? So, so in this, so in this assignment, though, um, again, so is there only? It only says one lesson plan to be sub, you know, to be submitted. That's so. What, I think so. Hang on. Okay, I don't know. I have a quick look because it says. Jim, can you bring it up again? Yeah, it's up. Okay. If you read the end of it, it says. Um, let me just find the beginning. Yeah, of the third, third to last line. Yeah. So include a full planning document and lesson plan focused on teaching a unit. Okay. So, because I was thinking in my head, if I was teaching a unit of, for argument's sake, five classes, I'd have five lesson plans. Yeah. Well, that's... <laughs> See, that's how I think too. That's what I think. I think, well... I've got and that's fine. And when I'm in a school, that's what I'm going to do anyway, because yeah. <laughs> I need to be able to teach. But for the purposes of passing this this unit, yeah. Work, yeah. Uh, I don't want to be making hard work for myself. If I, you no, know, no, no. Um, you will find a full planning document quite um, like, I'll just say my bit. I usually wait for people to contact me and say, I don't understand this question. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then I come back and, and I always put on the forum because the forum is the common place. You know, I don't talk to people independently yeah, I put yeah. on the forum. And that's the presumption on your part that I am talking to everyone. Yeah. Um, that's always been the presumption of the forum. Yeah. So I would have then said, oh, right, we've got, hit our first roadblock and I would have expected more to come from these. Um, but there was a little bit of frustration with the way they're written. And I understand all of that. And a bit like you, I just want to get done. Uh, yeah. Like the, the issue you've raised is so much bigger than me. I, I just want us to be able to all write a response, do well, and think, Absolutely. yes, I understood what that was all about. So you can in, include a full planning document and a lesson plan focused on teaching the unit. You can do that. Or, and, and I am fairly embracing of people who do different things mm -hmm. because that's all about diversity in the classroom. Not everybody's going to do the same thing. Not everybody's going to see things the same way I do or even read things the same way they're written. Mm. Um, so I'm happy for you to do it the way that teaches you most about what you have to do when you're in the classroom. For me, that's the critical thing. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, this, this planning document will have to include all of that information about the diversity anyway. Yeah. It'll be huge. Yeah. Um, cause you'll have to be it's saying. It's obviously very foreign to the way I was taught at school. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, um, I think the whole diversity issue is, is quite, quite enormous for teachers. Um, and oh, I, I just think it's a noose, but, um, you know, but there you go. <laughs> uh, my well, teachers were, were, were not, uh, well, some of them were standing there with a cane, but that, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, um, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that I think they did do in inclusive teaching. Uh, there were very few of my cohort that dropped out uh, or that played up too much and not because they were mainly yeah. in fear of getting beaten. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, they obviously did do these things, Good. But, but, they, but they were independent of those buzzwords and those politically yeah. motivated things, yeah. which, which yeah. send me into a stupor, if I'm quite honest. Well, I suppose what's <laughs> happened, the political motivated stuff has had to become, because when I first started teaching, my first teacher that I had said to me, just teach to the middle. Yeah. Now, I immediately balked against that, not with the teacher, yeah. Yeah. but I balked about I it. Understand that. When I closed my door and went into my classroom, I balked about it mm. because I thought, no, that, that's not the sort of teacher I want to be. No. I'm going to teach the middle. That's no. ridiculous. I want us to know every kid. Now, this is before any, they had standards of anything. Mm. 
somehow I was, I was born to be a teacher, you know, and I just somehow knew how to deal with the, I don't know how or why, but I had a little boy, for example, who couldn't write. He, it, and we did, we had a little book we wrote in a new one every day. And he couldn't write anything in the book. So what I got, is I got his book one day and I wrote a sentence in it. And it was two lines long. And I said to him very quietly on the side, now when everybody else is writing, you just write that sentence down because he was getting really embarrassed that he couldn't write. Everybody else was writing and he wasn't. And he wrote that sentence out. Now we did that for two months. He wrote the same sentence. And then one day I collected his book and he'd written a sentence that he had created. Mm. Now that for me was one of my huge wins in teaching. And I still remember it. You know, it was sort of just, I originally didn't know what to do with him, but I knew that he was embarrassed, he was upset, and I needed a way forward for him. Mm. So, you know, you, you get in the classroom, and if you want it badly enough, you'll work at it until you get it with these yeah, people. Yeah, I, I, the, the last thing I'm worried about is being in a classroom. Oh, honest. good, okay. Uh, you know, so um, it, I've done, I have done bits of it before, although not as a qualified teacher, but um, so I'm not worried about that element of it. Um, sure. I'm, I'm worried about... Uh, not worried. I'm I'm uh, concerned to have uh, to do what I need to do to get there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm happy about. So when you look at it, what do you want to do, Chris? What works for you when you read that? How does that work for you? If you look at Anessa, what I call unit of work. Yeah. How does all this work for you? Well, I think I think you know what I was trying to flesh out earlier. You know, just picking the random subjects yeah. and breath out the air. Is to, is is to you know and, and of course I'll base it on one that's on the Nessa website. Yep. Um, you know and and to and therefore to cert, to a certain extent the outcomes of that are written into that. Uh, yeah. So yep. what I'm looking at doing is, uh, you know, my my I, and I've not looked at the lesson plan on the um, yes the sign. Uh, no, I've not looked at the, on the in the handbook. Oh, okay. I, have, I, have, I have looked at other, you know, I, I, should, yeah. I didn't look in the handbook, which was stupid when I wrote one last semester. But um, anyway, uh, sorry, Jim, go on. up again, Chris? Yeah. Um, Chris, um, in terms of the lesson plan, yeah. what I've always said to students and uh, sessionals is whatever is appropriate for you. There's no AC has to, um, yeah. because if we did that, what would happen is when you send teachers into prac, their mentors will say, oh, no, I don't like that. I yeah, want to use right, this. Yeah. So yeah. we don't want to be precious about what style of lesson plan. Sure. On EdInfo, there's three or four different um, uh, templates for you to have a look at. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know whether you'll find them in the student handbook, but they're certainly in on EdInfo. Yeah, that's fine. So, so what, you know, but it does say to submit one on here yeah um so you know is that one lesson plan for the unit or is that well if you want to include your full planning document which is yeah. what jim spoke about yeah and one lesson which yeah. demonstrates because it's all about demonstrating yeah. which demonstrates to me that you know because honestly that, Chris, that i can apply what have... i've written in the in the theory into the lesson plan yeah yeah got it yeah. And of course, then what I can see, because what most of them don't give you is that option, a lot of the units of work, they don't give you the option of doing that. Right. Um, and I like to, and so some kids come to this subject and say, well, I've already done it this way. And I said, oh, okay, well, let's just do it that way then. If that's the way you're comfortable, and that's yeah. the way you know, and that's the way you will be successful, let's okay. do it that way. So but, I think I, I, for me, I'd probably rather write that whole kind of planning document and then the lesson plan will be one of those lessons. Good, because you won't be repeating the same thing five times. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and that appeals to me. And obviously I'll try, I, I get to pick the lesson where I can, I can best explain the, um, yeah. the inclusion strategies. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's probably the way to go. I mean, if I was doing it, it's probably what I would do. And the last time I taught this 403, which was a couple of years ago, and I had a teacher who was very keen to do it that way. And we talked a lot about the full document and made sure that that was full on. You know, we had um, an assessment task. There was all the rubrics that went with it. There was everything. So yeah. she had delivered all of that when she handed it in. Okay. And I think that's what's important. 
All right, and so and the two thousand words is the guideline, obviously. Well, it's a guideline. Everybody's Accepting talking. that it's going to be a bit, when you're using plans, it might knock it over a bit. Yeah, <laughs> um, even at uni, they're gracious about that. Yeah. <laughs> I've noticed at Newcastle, they don't stress too much about it. Yeah, That's are you good. in Newcastle? Yeah. No, oh, okay. I'm in Rankin Park. Oh, no, I don't live in Newcastle. Okay. I live on the Central Coast and I'm doing my PhD through Newcastle. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They're great. I go up there sometimes. Haven't been up there a while because of COVID, though. No, no, quite. You Zoom yeah. everything now. So it's very, yeah. really quite funny. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> there you go. Jim? Right. Uh, Deb, uh, I've turned to the rubric for this. Yep. Um, and I, I'd like to give a little speech about assessments in education. Uh, from my perspective, which is obviously different from uh, a relatively newbie student, uh, there are stock standard assignments, which are lesson, a sequence of lesson plans and annotated lesson plans, um, evaluation of unit of work, unit of work. They all roughly fall into those two categories. They're either lesson plans or the units of work, all slight combinations of the two. Mm -hmm. And you've got to just read the questions and find the emphasis that the particular subject is going for. But mm -hmm. my dream is when you finish the, the degree, Chris, you've, you've done these and they just come out of your pen without even thinking. They yeah. become almost second nature. So you don't want you going into school stressing about, ah, I've never done a unit of work before. Mm. We want you to do them so much you almost get bored with them. No, I, I, used, I used to nature. write and rewrite my sermons three times before I delivered them. and I've not written a sermon for a, quite a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand that, you know, that you become competent, consciously yeah. competent. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've got to do that. Um, having, it's part of the learning process. Yeah. And I don't know how many times I wrote my confirmation document. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about it. So... Um, I always direct students to the, the rubric and most of the subjects have them. And as I was saying with Chris today, a lot of these criteria are so worthy. Um, I try to, for my marking, I try to identify what's the key word. Mm. For example, the third one, I just can't help it. My eye goes to that word differentiation. And that's for 25%, I've really got to demonstrate some strategy that's going to work for differentiation. Um, and I go and try and find the key phrase in each one, the, the second to last one, for example, teaching strategies. So do you know what a teaching strategy is? Can you articulate a teaching strategy? Can you define one? Um, that's, I'm, I'm looking for key words. And obviously- the and, is that, and, and is part of that, sorry to interrupt. Um, yeah. It is is, uh, is part of that, um, I'm just trying to gauge where this sits on the academic spectrum. So for any one of those claims, is, it, is that expected to be referenced? Are oh, the teaching strategies? Well, if, if you, if, to name any, anything concrete about yeah. differentiation or, you know, are, are, is that supposed to be accompanied by a reference? Now, if you're doing a unit of work, then no, I've never expected in-text referencing. Oh, okay. But I do expect people at the end of it to give credit to where credit's due. So they have to say, well, they've referenced this from blah, 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 uni, from this school, blah, blah, blah. And there's a, a, list, a list of references, okay. but not the in-text bit. So actually, I've just, I've just realized that my confusion here is a genre confusion. Because there, there's a, a distinction here between unit of work and an essay. Oh, wow. absolutely. So that, that's actually, that's the beginning point of my misunderstanding. Wow. Right. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So that this is, is not an essay. Not yeah. anything like, oh, Chris, Chris. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he, Chris? <laughs> oh, man, how can you? So really? There's the confusion. No, I look, when people are thinking about all these things, I can, I can understand oh. how you just, it gets overwhelming. This, for me, one of those questions they asked me in my confirmation was, what's the biggest problem you've had? And I said, 
adopting the new language, a new way yeah. to speak, a new understanding of words, and new... yes, like I just could not. Which I mentioned earlier on with Jim. <laughs> Preach it. Preach I'll it. Go the theology oh. question standing on my head, yeah. but um. I've yeah. just had the words, the word, the concepts. And I've been teaching for a long time and I had to move from teaching practicum to, to research. And it was just, I had to speak research and I couldn't speak research very well first no, of all. I'm the opposite way around to you. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. So that's where I'm coming from. I think I'm um, doing better now. But okay. yeah. So actually, right, okay. <laughs> so what I'm writing, I, I'm actually not writing an academic exercise here. I'm talking about you know, these are the things I'm thinking about. I'm aware of this and this is what I'm going to do to do something about it. Yeah. It's a far more practical document. Very practical document, actually. Okay. Very practical. Um, Chris, like, sorry. man, I'm getting excited. This has made my day. <laughs> um, I am going to share another screen with you from Edinfo. Yeah. Uh, this is absolutely fascinating to me. Um, this, to me, whenever I think of a unit of work, I think of this. Right. Yeah, the um, and this is on Edinfo, if you want to find yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and what I've done with this unit of work is I've scribbled comments in the margin yeah. um, uh, about what you'd expect to find there. But the last thing is any comparison with an essay. Right. It's tables. I really would take this to shreds because it's in portrait. To me, a unit of work yes. has to be landscape. <laughs> yeah. But for, like your lesson plans were for four yeah. or five. So I, yeah, okay. So I had something completely different in my mind. So you go to the end of this, you see, and yeah. you'll find, uh, where is it? A bunch of res uh, yeah. resources there, and they give some credits. Now, I think, to be honest, these people would have, Reference a bit more than that. Yeah. Um, credits, references, whatever you want at the end. Yeah. But I mean, I, let me, uh, sorry, Deb, but let me just wax on for this for a minute. No, too. wax away, Jim. I mean, the thing about this You're example of knowledge. We need gives to you uh, a checklist for, you know, what do I do on Monday morning? Have I got yeah. everything that I need for this class? Bang, 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 bang. Have I thought about the gifted and talented? Have I thought about the ESL? Have I yeah. thought about special needs? And look what's huge in the thing. This lot. Yeah. It's just dot points of activities. What can we do in the classroom? These are the sorts of things we could do in this unit of work. Yeah. Um, and teaching strategies. These sections can be expanded or shrunk depending on the nature of the material. But they just, for me, are place markers and for you to run with and absolutely have a ball. Assessment, strategies, so, what you do so at the beginning. Deborah, that's what you're expecting to be looking at, something like that. Oh, this is what we did when I had the student before, but it depends on what the students ask me. Sure. Like I had a very bright, you're very bright, Chris. I have, if I have very bright <laughs> students, I will often suggest this is the way to go. And that's what she did. Like I just had her recently for a subject and we had a ball because we looked at things a little bit differently. And when I was talking to her, I said, how, well, yeah, they've thought about speeches and the way, you know, American presidents talk and things. Well, she was off. It was like I lit a fire. She just went for it, didn't she, Jim? <laughs> Yvette, you, yes, I know. She wrote such nice things about me. <laughs> And she does, she's one of those who asks questions every day. Oh, I know. I had oh. so many Zoom sessions with her. <laughs> but she was looking for more. She didn't want to just deliver what was there. She wanted, she wanted to expand on it. She, wanted to, she had the capacity to do that, though. Yeah. So that's one of the things you always look at with your differentiation kids. Do they have the capacity to ever yeah. go beyond that? Or is this what I've got to keep yeah. doing? Yeah, yeah. Now, and the capacity now, is the thing. Deb was talking uh, earlier on about going to Nessa. Now, if you're in New South Wales, yes, but if you're in Queens and you go to theirs and so on. Yeah, but yeah. These, these sentences here are straight lift out of Nessa, slap bang paste, done yeah. and dusted. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, in this case, you can see it's an integrated unit of work with more than one KLA and some primary yeah. school. So yeah. that's the driving the force. Capability. Don't forget the general capabilities. Yes. They've yeah. got to be in there as well. 
yeah. that's really important. Yeah, so this is what we did, but then you've got to work with what you've got. And sometimes kids find it so much easier just to do a rationale, five lessons, yeah. hand in a list of resources, do what they need to do, do all the right things like that. that and they will usually do okay, you know, they get a credit and they, they pass through and that's what they want to do. If you get a student who can actually see, see, this is a, this is a holistic thing. This is seeing conceptually what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what, that's a different way of looking at it. Yeah. So. I mean, that works for me, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it works for me too. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm quite happy to write essays, but I'd much rather, you know, that's a far more practical thing to do and yeah. you can include more in it because if you yeah. had to write that out in an essay it'd take you more yeah. than two thousand words so <clears throat> and chris we, what we want you to do is leave this course with a whole swag of these in your bag so, so that when you're going you just, into school you can actually use them yeah, yeah. Okay. that'd be great well that makes an awful lot more sense it also makes sense of the first assessment which didn't require referencing because it was spoken yeah so, correct yeah so i, I was in i was in a, a genre category that was different to what I was yeah. doing. The only thing that I would say, and Jim, I don't know if it's got it here, is that I think there's an, I can't remember the question. I'm sorry. I cannot find my <laughs> question guide here on my desk, which is just covered at the moment. I've got it. I have got it somewhere. Here. Um, does it say you have to hand in a copy of the assessment task, an assessment task? Um, a written assessment task? Quick look, hang on. Where have I put it? I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> Hang on, let me try and find it. Uh, I, what are you looking for? Well, uh, I just want to see whether it actually says you have to hand in a copy of an assessment task. So, from the one that, that you wrote or the one that's on the course? Outline? No, the one that's on here. Oh, then it does say you have to include a full planning document and lesson plan focused on teaching a unit. Yeah. Okay. Which would mean that in that, in the discussion for me, so just so you know, I would expect you to, Jim? It must include assessment strategies. Yeah. Um, and overall evaluation of the intervention. It, yeah. I, planning for assessment sequence. I haven't seen that it says you have to hand in it a worked assessment? No, not a worked assessment. I just want to make sure that there would be an, ass I just didn't know if the words assessment sequence were there because an assessment sequence would be quite a detailed little piece of information about I'm doing a summative task here, a summative task there. I will be reporting this to parents if I'm concerned. Like what I did, some of that stuff I did there is the sort of stuff that I would have written mm. if I had been writing this, that other sort of, the, uh, doing the whole planning document. So, when I said reported to parents, you know, th these are how I report, but, but I would also report if I was concerned about a student. So all the time I'm reflecting on the sorts of things I would also do. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's brilliant. The reflective bit is so crucial, particularly to oh. the last placement on TPA, yeah. teacher yeah. performance assessment. Oh yeah. yes, the TPA, don't we love it? Sorry, Jim. <laughs> We do. Come on. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> That's what I'm doing my PhD on, Chris, the TBA. <laughs> I'm going to do mine on theology. <laughs> <laughs> Wise move. Wise move. Wise move. <laughs> um, so does that make sense? And look, please just contact me. Like, I have no idea how many emails I, I talk to. Oh, no, no, I, I don't in any way think that you're, on, that you're uh, uh, not willing to be contacted. My, my limitation is... I have so little time. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that, that's why. I mean, I gave Jim some feedback today that I meant to send him about a month ago. You know, right. it's just because it's just I just, run, yeah. you know, got five kids and... and you five have kids. five kids. <laughs> you had five kids. <laughs> oh, I had four and aged very quickly. <laughs> what, so, what, you know, what ages are they, Chris? Uh, 18, 16, 15, um, come on, you 15, can do 16, it. 15, 12, <laughs> and nearly eight. Oh, that's wow. wonderful. Praise God. That is just a blessing <laughs> and a half. 
doing our bit. So, you've, got your, you've got your classroom there. It says actual <laughs> classroom. Come on. There's your classroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure they'd respond as well to me as hopefully the children will. Uh, uh, what do we, we said diversity. Diversity in the classroom. <laughs> now, is it diversity? They have the same genetic makeup. I'm not sure. <laughs> of course, there is. <laughs> Gifted and talented. Come on, they're all yeah. there. Well, that's, that's true. Uh, You're a very yeah. brave man. Because when I, we had four, I said to my husband, oh, "I think I might like five. And he said, "I don't think you do." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Okay." <laughs> well, I definitely don't <laughs> want six. <so. laughs> I still remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, that's great. Well, all right, well, look, that, that's, um, yeah, it, it, the, that makes a lot more sense. Good. Um, Good. Uh, I, I've, just, I've just started reading ahead to the next assignment, so I better not do that. Yes. Um, that no, well, good. look, your first assignment was a delight. I mean, I really <laughs> enjoyed it. It was terrific. Um, okay. Really well done. Um, so, I mean, you obviously have a, a giftedness in, in presenting material, in knowing what you know. It's just, yeah, yeah. You, can, you will do this really well. Okay. Well, that's fine. So, basically, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be two kind of tabulated documents. Mm. Mm. So, that's great for me. Yeah. Um, well, that's what, as I said, that's what worked for my last student. Yeah. But when I have other students, sometimes... It just doesn't. I've got to work with what I've got. Well, that, in a previous life, I was a policeman for 10 years as well. So um, that, um, that approach is exactly how we went about yeah. planning. And, you know, I did partnership work with council, yeah. all that sort of stuff. Really? So, so that, that makes all the sense in the world. See, yeah. in my mind, what, why I was so confused was I was picturing writing an academic lesson about what these concepts are. And then, and then how you'd apply that to an actual classroom and then generating a lesson plan for an example of. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, I was right on the lesson plan, <laughs> um, but I'm very glad I was wrong on the first bit. Yeah, no, that's great. It's interesting, isn't it? It's, it's always good to talk things out. Yeah. Always. Well, you've saved me a lot of reading. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got a lot, of, a lot of other different reading to do, but you know, reading, yeah. that's okay. No, that's terrific. That's terrific. Um, it looks it's been lovely to talk to you. It's been great, Jim. And, and Chris, uh, do Google um, units of work from yeah. around the world on your area. Yeah. Just don't spend long on it, but just get a breadth of the, the yeah, diversity. Yeah, the first thing I've got to do is pick, pick the actual topic I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah. and then you'll be blown away with the creativity that people have. Oh, oh absolutely. And, and don't forget to go to, um, oh, the English thing, uh, What If Learning. Oh, okay. I'll make a note of that. Yeah. What If Learning, uh, that puts your Christian um, worldview into what you're teaching. Yeah. It's sort of like going into a supermarket and saying, I'll have some of that, please. Yeah, sure. No, okay. That's fine. No, I'm really just good. going on the website, so I'll have a look at that in a minute. Yeah, no, it's excellent. Yeah. Okay. Jim, thank you. I'll, thank re you I'll record this and put it up on your Moodle in about 20 minutes, I suspect. Okay. Cheers. Sorry? Oh, right. See you later. Thanks. Bye. 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 Okay, that was good. Yes, um, happy? Hang on, babe. No, I'll stop recording. No, it's